Hello and welcome. If you are running Linux Mint 20.2 and are interested in getting started with Docker, stay tuned. I will show you how you can install Docker on Linux Mint Cinnamon. For this demo, I'm running Linux Mint 20.2 on VirtualBox. And let me show you that I'm running this version. System info. And if we take a look, I'm running Linux Mint 20.2 Cinnamon. Seeing that Linux Mint is a Ubuntu based system, we can simply follow the instructions given on the Docker web page to install Docker on Linux Mint. Um, to do that, to find these instructions, you can head, uh, head over to docs.docker.com engine install Ubuntu. Um, and I guess the most comparable here would be Ubuntu Bionic. Uh, to Linux Mint, so we're perfectly fine to use these instructions. So following these instructions, I uh, will go ahead and install Docker um, from docker.com uh, by adding the repo first. So if we are opening a terminal, and let's make this bigger, and let's move back here, and let's see first it tells us to uninstall all old versions. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll just simply copy this command, go back into our terminal, paste it in here, and we will go ahead and remove what needs to be removed. That is taken care of. And then we want to go ahead and install using the repository, meaning we need to add it first. So we need to run our sudo apt-get update first to make sure that everything is up to speed. Let's go ahead and add that. Once the update is done, we can move back already. And then we want to do a install of um, additional dependencies that we will need. So we can just simply copy this command, go back here, paste it, and run it. Yes, we want to continue. If you have to accept it, you can go ahead and do that. This may take a little bit. Um, I will pause the video here and we'll be back once it's completed. So here we are back. Uh, I had some of these dependencies installed already. Um, your output here may be longer than what I have, um, but we can move on to the next step and we will add the key which I believe I have added already too. Um, nonetheless, I will copy the entire command. We will go ahead back into our terminal, paste it, and it's there already. I will override it. Uh, you will not most likely be prompted for it unless you have the GPG key already, uh, already added. And now we will go ahead and we will add the repository running on a 64-bit system. I do at least. If you run on 32, that's fine as well. Other um, architectures are in the other tabs here. Most of us will probably use this. Now, this is a command where we'll need to make a change. And I will show you exactly where we need to make the change. So first, we'll go ahead and copy the command. And we will, let me clear my screen, paste it in here. And what we need to change is the LSB release. We do not want this. And we want pretty much everything deleted from the dollar sign to the end of the parentheses. So we will remove that. And we will replace it with Bionic. So we want to make sure that we are adding the stable repository for Ubuntu Bionic. OK, we'll hit Enter. And now we can go ahead and install the Docker engine. So before we do that, we gotta do another sudo apt-get update. We need to do that to refresh the repositories, including the newly added one. And once we have that, we can go ahead and finally run our install. 
So we'll copy this command, go back to our terminal, paste it in here, hit enter, and we'll wait until the installation has completed. And once that has happened, we should be able to run our first Docker image, which we will test as soon as this is done. This may take a minute. I will be back once it's completed. Here we go. Our installation of Docker has completed. I will clear my screen. And now we should be able to test our Docker installation by simply doing a sudo docker run hello world. Let's hit enter. Okay, that's what I expected. It cannot find the image locally. It's going out to Docker Hub, downloads it, and this is the expected output from our hello world Docker image that it just says hello from Docker, some additional information. So this proves that our Docker installation was successful. Now you may have noticed though that I had to prefix running the docker run command with sudo because right now docker is only um, accessible by root so you need to be either a, a sudoer um, or have root permissions in order to run the docker command so i will show you now how you can actually add yourself um, or other users um, to a group that will allow you to then run docker without needing to be root and um, what happened is during the installation of Docker, um, it created a group called Docker. And um, whoever wants to use Docker needs to be added to that group. So the command to do that for myself right now, for example, would be simply user mod dash lowercase a uppercase g for add group. We will give it the group and then the username. In my case, I want to add myself. So I just use the environment variable of dollar $user, and I will hit enter. And I should have prefixed this with sudo, because this is a root command. So I'll just rerun the command and put sudo in front, and we're good to go. Now, this may not work out of the box, meaning if I do a docker run hello world, I still get a permission denied error. Um, what happens is after I've added myself to um, this group, the user may need to log out and log back in, or what may be too, they need to actually reboot the system. So I will go ahead and do that, and I will be back once I am uh, have rebooted my system. So here I am back. I have rebooted my system. Again, um, it may be enough to just log out and log back in. However, running these different images in VirtualBox, I've made the experiences safer to reboot, which I do because it's not a big problem. Um, however, now that we've added, in this case myself, as a user to the Docker group in the system, I should be able to run a Docker command without the use of sudo. So I'm running docker run hello world and I hit enter and there it goes me as a regular user now have access to run um, a docker container and do other or perform other uh, docker commands in Linux Mint um, this is how you install docker on uh, Linux Mint 20.2 Cinnamon I hope you found this uh, helpful um, I do appreciate your time and thank you very much for watching.